Ayan, so nasa part 2 na po tayo ng ating week number 2. So, we have to compute the quartile of uh, group data. So, last time, uh, tinuruan ko kayo kung paano gumawa ng frequency distribution table. So, ito po yung table, yung ginawa natin last time. So, ito po. So, binaliktad ko lang po ito ha. Okay, kasi dati yung 6 uh, uh, hanggang 13 is nasa baba. So, inayos ko lang para hindi po kayo malito pagdating sa module po. Okay? Now, uh, una nating hahanapin, so we have here the lower uh, class bound and then the cumulative frequency. And then, syempre nandito po yung ating formula ng uh, quartile, which is uh, Q sub K is equal to LQ. Uh, LQ is the lower class boundary of the quartile class. And then, yung C natin is the class size, uh, yung dito po, yung 8. And then we have the N. N natin is the total number of observation. So, add lang po natin to. So, ang nakuha natin last time dito is 36 tau. So, ayan. And then, uh, ang FB naman po is the less than cumulative frequency before. So, tandaan po, before ha. Before the Q sub K class. And then, sa si FQ naman is the frequency of the Q sub K class. So, ayan. So, ang hahanapin natin dito ay si uh, uh, Q sub 2. Okay? So, ang, ang una nyong gagawin is uh, yung formula muna natin para makuha natin kung uh, saan dito yung ating uh, kukunin. Okay? So, before that, so hanapin po muna natin si lower class bound. Si lower class bound ay magsusubtract lang po tayo yung nasa left side. Okay, so ayan. Yung nasa left side po natin, which is this one. So, 6. So, 6 minus 0.5. So, ito po is 5.5. Uh, so, this is 13.5. 21.5. So, this is 29.5. And then... 37.5 and then we have 45.5 and then 53.5 so ayan, minus lang po natin ng uh, 0.5 yung nasa left side ito po, yung lower ano, lower limit okay, and then pagkuha naman po ng cumulative frequency, so ang gagawin nyo lang po so yung frequency po natin dito, so ilagay po lang po natin yung unang una, which is 3 Okay, and then i-add po natin yung kasunod. So, 3 plus 5, so this is 8. And then, 8 plus 13, so this is 21. And then, we have 21 plus 8, so this is 29. 29 plus 2, so this is 31. 31 plus 3, we have 34. And then, this is 36 dahil 34 plus 2, we have 36. So, ayan, nakuha na po natin ang uh, cumulative frequency. So, yung N po natin is 36. So, yan. Uh, 36. Tapos, ang hinahanap natin is yung Q sub 2. So, ang K natin will be 2. Okay? So, gunin lang natin yung unang formula which is the uh, N times K all over 4. Okay? So, N times K all over 4. So, quartile po ha. So, this is all over 4. So, this is uh, 36 times 2 all over 4. So, kapag minultiply po natin yan, this is 72 all over 4. So, we have 18. Yan. So, 18. Yung 18, so, titignan nyo po rito. Dahil wala naman pong uh, exact si 18, so, kukunin po natin yung pinaka, uh, yung tataasan po siya ng konti. Okay, so we have 21. Okay, uh, pinakamalapit pala. So we have 21. Okay, so ang gagawin po niyo para hindi po kayo malito, lagyan po ninyo ng guhit. So ayan. Okay, tapos pwede na nating hanapin yung ating uh, mga nawawala. So the first thing na nawawala is si ating LQ. So LQ para makuha natin is the lower class bound. So, ito po yun, 21.5. Okay, so ayan, 21.5. And then, para naman po makuha si FB, 
Again, si F before ay yung less than community frequency before. So, titingin po kayo dito. Okay? So, ito yung nakuha natin kanina. So, before that, so we have 8. So, ito po ay 8. Okay? And then, si FQ naman, so yung frequency, yung naguhitan po natin, so this is 13. Okay? And then, ang C natin is 8, yung ating uh, class size. Bakit 8? Kasi uh, subtract lang po natin yung 61 minus 53, yun po yung ating class size. Okay? So, ayan. And then, ano pa ba? Uh, yan. So, wala na po. So, start po na po tayong mag-compute. Okay? So, lagay na po natin dito. Yan. So, ang ating LQ. So, we have yung ating quartile. So, yung ating ano. So, tandaan po natin na si Q sub 2 is the median. So, tingnan natin. So, we have 21.5 plus 8 and then ito po na compute na po natin so 18 minus 8 all over 13 so ayan okay so pwede po tayong gumamit ng calculator para mas mabilis so this one uh, we have 21.5 plus so kung uh, imumultiply po natin to uh, yung nasa loob po muna ha so 18 Minus 8, syempre, we have 8, uh, 10. Okay? And then, uh, mumultiply po natin kay 8. So, that is 80. And then, divide po natin ng 13. Okay? So, that is 6.15. Okay? So, kung isa-isahin po natin. So, again, uh, we have 8. So, times 10 all over 13. So, ayan. So, Nais ko po muna. And then, we have 21.5 times 80 all over 13. Okay? So, this become 21.5 plus, uh, this is, uh, divide po natin. So, 2 digit na lang po tayo. Ha? So, we have uh, 6.15. So, ang ating quartile 2, okay? is 21 plus 21.5 plus uh, 6.15 so that is uh, 27.65 okay so kung lalagyan po natin ng uh, interpretation kasi naglalagay po tayo ng interpretation so uh, therefore so kaya na po ang mag ano ha Sabihin ko na lang po yung interpretation po natin. So, therefore, the uh, second uh, quartile of this set of data is 27.65. Okay? So, ang interpretation po natin uh, will be uh, yung ating uh, uh, we have second so, ito po is 50% of all data points are below or less than 27.65. Okay? So, ilalagay po natin yung interpretation po natin. Okay? So, ganun lang po yung gagawin po natin para sa uh, pagkuha ng quartile ng group data. So, sana meron pong... Uh, naintindihan and then uh, we go to the next so yun po